hello it's Angela and I'm back for day five and as promised yesterday we are going to be working on a snippet trim now oh there we go <laughs> forgot to turn my light on so what we're gonna do is let me push this back a little bit uh, I've got some long strips of muslin here and we're going to be applying our different fabrics laces and whatnot to this um, and we're not gonna think a lot about it uh, this is a practice exercise of just placing we're going to be using our Fabri-Tac um, because at the end, after I'm done placing everything, I'm just going to sew around the edge of it. I'm not going to sew down the middle because it could get rather thick. So I have this bag of trims that is a bunch of snips. Um, and then I have this huge shoe box. <laughs> full of Christmas snippets. So, we are going to begin. Um, here I have this piece of red fabric. Uh, I think I want to start off with something a little thicker though. Here we go. Because I want to kind of cover up the white. That's the whole purpose is to cover up the white and the reason why we start out with the muslin is so we have something to adhere to obviously I mean you could use paper if you don't have the muslin um, I prefer doing it with fabric only because um, I like the feel of it at the end um, I like using it for belly bands uh, pockets uh, you can even put them on tags. I mean, there's just so many uses for a snippet roll that um, you could use it as decoration, embellishments, um, you know, really anything that your heart desires, you could um, use it for. Um, kind of got a red thing going on here. Let's try to get some other colors in. Oh, I have this blue snowflake. You know what? I'm going to zoom you guys out just a tad. I feel like I'm fighting with the camera. There we go. All right. So some blue. And I'm not placing it right now as far as how I'm going to glue it. I'm just kind of getting some pieces out and cut down a little bit. So we got some manageable pieces so uh, this is some um, eyelet 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 trim I guess is what you call it um, here's another piece of blue fabric with some Christmas trees and some snowman so let's cut a tree let's cut a snowman there's a different kind of tree with a snowflake. Um, different snowman. Just kind of making smaller little snippets. So, um, I haven't figured out what the journal prompt for today is going to be yet. Uh, I'm going to figure that out and think about that as we make this. Um, here's some of that candy cane uh, fabric that I got from the swap. And I just dropped a piece of something. This gold trim is so pretty, but I don't think that's what I dropped. I think I dropped something else. Oh well, we'll find it later. I didn't get a chance to clean my desk off yet, so I'm kind of working around the mess. I mean, I straightened it up a little bit as far as making room to do this, but lordy, it's still a mess. 
us crafters, you know, we're not, it's not that we're messy people. It's just that crafting, because you have so much stuff out at one given time, just, it just creates a mess. I mean, I'm a neat freak. Not really a neat freak, but I like things in their place and, you know, but when it comes to crafting, I'm like a different kind of person. It is the weirdest thing. It's like it doesn't bother me. Oh, here's some eyelash trim. Oh, it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel this. I mean, it is so soft. Really soft. <laughs> How soft? Really soft. <laughs> oh, my allergies are bothering me today. Here in Florida, we had a cool front come in. Uh, when I left work today, it was 66 degrees, which is freezing for Florida because we're used to 80, you know, 85, 90 degrees. And when you're used to it being that hot all the time, when it gets in the 60s, it feels like it's 30 to us, if you can imagine that. Because, you know, to some people that are in negative degrees and 20 degrees weather, they're like 60. Oh, that's beautiful. No, it's freaking cold to Floridians. <laughs> I had my jacket on with my hoodie up and yeah, so don't make fun of me. It was cold. I was freezing. So yeah, um, so I'm not sure how long this little cool friend's going to last, but it is a nice change, but it does affect my sinuses. I have... I have a headache, but I decided I was going to lay down, but I thought to myself, if I lay down and I fall asleep, I won't get this video done, and I promised we were going to do this today, so to me, keeping my promise to my subbies is more important than my headache. <laughs> it's not that bad. I took some um, ibuprofen, so um, it's actually going away a little bit now, so... So I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. I'm not going to die. It's not like a migraine. It's just a little inconvenience of a headache. Oh, here's some fabric with some words on it. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to find colors other than red. Green. Here's some blue. Oh, these are little hats. How cute is that? You guys see that? Their little hats. <laughs> oh goodness me. Here's some black trim. There's some pink in here like this too. I got this at Tuesday morning you guys. This would be awesome for boho also. It's got little sparkle sequences on it. And they had it in black. They had it in the pink. Um, trying to think what other colors they had. I think they had like a purple, they had, um, oh here's some poinsettia, trip, got a couple pieces of that, here's some green snowflakes, that's interesting, alright, I think, here's some black to go with that black trim, this has ornaments on it, Uh, I didn't see any pink. I know there was some pink fabric in here. Here's some pink lace. I know I had some pink fabric. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is! Ta-da! Pink and blue and green Christmas trees! You know, pink is like really in this year for Christmas, you guys. It's like everywhere, like the Prima Santa baby paper. I'm sure you guys have all seen that. I mean, it's like everybody and their mothers making journals out of it. Um, what else? Uh, Blue Fern has a pink Santa or uh, Christmas paper. Um... And a couple other, you know, paper companies also. But, um, so yeah, I don't know if it was like that last year. I wasn't too into crafting last year around this time. 
I just kind of started the middle of last year and boy do I have a stockpile of craft stuff you guys I need to put together some racks so if you're interested in receiving a rack from me which is a random act of kindness leave a comment and I'll get you something in the mail because you see my box of scraps I mean that's scraps you guys <laughs> So you can only imagine what else, what I actually have as far as good stuff, you know. I mean, not that scraps aren't good stuff, but because they are. Scraps are awesome. We can make snippet rolls with scraps, right? For sure. For sure, for sure. Here's some lace. You guys, I have no idea how that got cut like that. <laughs> I'm just going to rip it. That's too funny. All right, I think we have enough to get started here. So let's start. Um, I've got two pieces here, but I think we're just going to work on one at the time. So what I want to do is take the bigger pieces. Let's cut this paint, this reddish pink, and place those down. So I figured out with Fabri-Tac, in order to prevent the bubble, is if you tilt it on its side and wait for it to come down into the nozzle, it takes a little bit of time, it doesn't get the air in it. And the air is what causes those bubbles from squeezing it. Um, so yeah. I don't know what possessed me to try that one day, but it worked, and I was happy for, for it, so I thought I would pass that along. So you can leave the cap off and not have to worry about rushing to put the cap on, or you're going to get this huge bubble. And I know anybody who uses Fabri-Tac knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> the attack of the Fabri-Tac bubble. So I'm just putting Fabri-Tac down the center because like I said, I'm going to be um, stitching around the outside. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing okay. Maybe I should zoom in again. There we go. Alright, well, I looked up online about the whole camera cutting off thing and it said that it had to do with the memory card. So I was using a 64 gig memory card. So I bought a 128 gig memory card and I'm hoping that that solves the issue. I don't know. I don't know computers and technical stuff that well. So I'm not exactly sure why it would be the memory card. It said something about it not being able to keep up with the speed of the recording. So... Let's see what happens tonight. Hopefully, we can get our little crafting session in with video tonight. That would be awesome. Okay, so I need like a little thin strip of something here. There we go. Like I said, I'm not trying to think about what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to place stuff. Um... Grabbing and placing, grabbing and gluing, grabbing and gluing, grabbing and gluing. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, besides my allergies acting up, I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, I suffer from anxiety and, um, you know, a couple other mental illnesses problems so um, I'm always struggling with something on every any given day you know so today was a good day though I felt good today um, which is awesome I was just a little tired uh, but that's to be expected when you have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning and you didn't go to sleep until two but besides that it's <laughs> probably why I have a headache lack of sleep but I plan on getting this video done early and getting myself to bed early. That one I'm going to place kind of angled like that. Um, let's see. 
some black here. So, uh, how's it looking so far? You guys see that? I like it. I think it's coming out pretty good so far. Um, I do want some more yellow though. Do we have any more yellow? Here's some yellow. Because I had yellow on that um, bulb there, that Christmas ornament. Let's put some more lace. My fingers get so sticky with the lace. I think I'm going to do some green lace over here on this red. Okay, moving along. So yeah, so as you're laying it down, you just kind of move your strip, either paper or or the muslin. I mean, you don't even have to use muslin. It could just be like a piece of fabric. Um, any strip of fabric. Like, even like this, you know, but a, a little thicker, but yeah. You could use patterned fabric as your base. It doesn't have to be white. And you could even let, leave, you know, like a little bit of that showing if you wanted. Um, So, I mean, it's like with junk journaling, you know, there's no rules. There's no rules. You do what you think looks good. And if other people don't like it, well, then they don't have to watch, right? So, uh, or they don't have to buy your stuff or they don't have to like it on Facebook or whatever. You know, you do what you like. That's the beauty of the junk journal community and the crafting community in general you know it's like crafters are artists they have their own style you know and that is what you're accomplishing when you craft you're doing art it's as simple as that really this is a little piece of twine I'm just going to kind of put that, just lay that down over top of here for some dimension. Kind of rolling it in the glue to help it stick. I'm getting all sticky! <laughs> Let me get a little glue on the edge of that rick rack. Oh, that's cute. I like how it curled up like that. See guys, I didn't wait for it and now I got I got a glue booger. Cut myself with the scissors earlier. So I have a band-aid on my finger. Scissors are sharp. Alright, get rid of that glue booger there. Glue goober. Glue goober. Alright, so moving on down. Let's see what we got here. Oh, let's use the hats. We haven't used the hats yet. This is a cute fabric. I'm going to have to use that on something. I'm not sure what. my junk journal. So, um, oh boy, what a day, you guys. I mean, I had a good day, but my boss was out of town. He calls me at 8.30 this morning. I'm not even out of bed yet, and um, asking me questions about work. <laughs> Call me, he says. So I text him. I say, I answered his question in a text. I wasn't going to call him.